Comedian David Perdue only loves three things in this world in no particular order. Real friends, <coughs> ham, and drunken hot girls. <laughs> he only hates one thing, and that's flashing lights. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we're gonna welcome the band back on this one. We've got, by the way, Niles Gray, also known as Tribe One, doing some rap with us. And uh, we're gonna uh, uh, also have a special guest on this one, Adon Beam. So without any further ado, let's hear for the band. Spotlight with a fat ass, and in the blink of a paparazzi flash, you'll become a father. 
It's ironic that you and Jay had a lot to say on the song New Day about parenthood, but your hypotheticals didn't include having daughters. How, Sway? You care more about fashion than rapping, but let's acknowledge, diamonds do not last forever. But I get it, I mean, you famously dropped out of college. So you take every opportunity to exclaim your genius because you've been told for so long that you were marginally gifted. But they didn't tell you that your beautiful fantasy was also dark and twisted. Could you foresee this path when you suffered that car crash? A resurrected Jesus with an endorsement deal from Adidas. Can you take a firm leather jogging pants stance for something more than sneakers? For something more than anything that you're adorning? More than whomever the Grammys are rewarding or where you and yours are performing? Good night, cruel world. We'll see you in the morning. How fitting is it that the man with the once detached jaw speaks the most reckless? says things that makes our jaws drop. The pop provocateur, the hip-hop connoisseur, the misogynistic popular, brilliant, dimwit, diva, dipshit, social pariah, misfit, undisputed king of chipmunk soul. <laughs> I only take half of what you say seriously, Kanye, but somehow it still makes me feel whole. I mean, we run the gamut, damn it, from blushing, from the heart touching, to the distant judging, to what's freaking disgusting, but everybody feels a way about yeah, but at least we feel something. Thank you. Yeah! That's, yeah, that's, now that's me now. That's me now. I got some cues, you see what I did there? I kind of this whole performance. Sampled other people's talents. <laughs> they were way more talented than me, and I was like, go do your thing, and they did it. Y'all gonna love me for it. No, I'm happy to be here, man. Kanye West, Kanye ATL. Uh, let me just get into it. I'm so excited to do Kanye West. Uh, uh, I first heard Kanye West, I was in 11th grade. I was in the Christian school, and uh, uh, we heard Jesus Walks, and uh, I'll be honest, it was a very conservative Christian school, so I don't, like, once they heard the song, they were like, I don't think we should be listening to this. Uh, <laughs> Is this is how Christian school to like let us out early go vote for George Bush. Uh, so, but for me, I was like, oh, this is the thing. I love this. Uh, so anyway, let me just, I don't know. Kanye means a lot to me because he showed for a lot of people who grew up like I grew up that you didn't have to be a gangster or anything like that. You can listen to hip hop and like just be, a, you know, just a regular dude. Like you don't have to tote guns or all that other stuff. Anyway, let's get to the real thing. Kanye West power, right? Everybody wants to talk about power and I want to get into power. But uh, let me start by saying this. Last year, I got, the, this is how much I love Kanye West. Last year, I was performing the show, and I got to, uh, for whatever reason, Amber Rose was at the show, and I got to meet Amber Rose at a show, which, and everybody's like, that's a cool thing. As soon as I touched Amber Rose, my brain goes, she touched Kanye West. <laughs> and, and listen, I'm so, like, you don't understand, everybody knows Amber Rose, fat ass, right? I love fat ass. Did not care about that fat ass. I was like, that fat ass was once touched by Kanye West's hand. I just won everything. You know what I mean? I won. I won in life. Uh, all right. That's how much I love Kanye West. I did not look at fat ass. That's how much I was focused on something else. Anyway, let's get into it. There are three dates you need to know when we're talking about power. Here's the three dates you need to know. September 9th, 2009. Anybody know what happened that day? That's when Barack Obama stood in front of Congress and somebody yelled at him, you lie. Remember that? No, it happened, you gotta remember that, right? The second day, September 13, 2009 as well. Remember what happened that day? That's the day uh, Kanye West had a little bit too much Hennessy and went and grabbed tapes to his microphone. <laughs> and I uh, got it weird, right? Remember that, right? Okay, September 17th, a few days after that, is the day that Barack Obama was quoted and said, Kanye West is a jackass, right? You see the timeline of what just happened? <laughs> The night in front of the world, some dude yelled at President Obama and was like, you're a liar. And then a few days later, what is he talking about? Kanye West. That's you know how dope Kanye West is and how precious little white women are to America. Uh, very precious. The President of the States was like, hey man, we gotta focus on Kanye. All right. Now. Last day you need to know, June 27, 2010. June 27, 2010, as the BET performance of Kanye West's performed Power. 
Why do I remember that? Because at that time, I was uh, I was a mentor to a lot of young kids. And I was at Morehouse College and I was chilling. There's a lot of kids from South Africa. And that song hit dropped like maybe like a week before. And I started playing it. And I'll never forget, there was like, there's a bunch of South African kids who was the first time in the States. And they heard the beat, the power drop in my room because I was playing on loop. And a kid knocked on my door and says, what is that? <laughs> I was like, oh, you like that? You like that? Yay? He's like, keep playing that. And we played it nonstop, all day, and they made up cool dances, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And it spilled both to the power of music. That's how much Kanye West was. It was just international. Like, everybody was Kanye West, right? All right. In that performance, uh, I don't know if you remember BT performance. Anybody here had BT familiar with where it's at? Anybody? I don't know. I understand. I understand. Uh, Kanye is standing on a, I think he thought it was a, a volcano, but I don't think he can do that. Uh, Cause like stuff is coming up behind him, like like the volcano is erupting, right? But then in the green screen there's mountains, so wherever in Kanye's mind, somewhere there's there, there's icy mountains, and then there's a hot fire out of volcano. That's why I love his brain, he's like, yeah, put volcanoes, mountains, snow, just all together. I look dope on top of it, just make it happen. Um, but I love that. Also, this is the thing I love about Kanye in this song, uh, where he, he, he says, uh, fuck SNL. He says this, because SNL continues to make fun of him. Kanye has it's been on SNL more, like he's been on SNL five times. I don't, Kanye West flips, flops more than Hillary Clinton. Uh, <laughs> just like, I don't know, uh, he just doesn't care the things that he said earlier. All right, Hillary fans in the building, that's okay. Uh, Okay, um, got sensitive. Uh, no, that's fine. I, listen, I, I I had a lot, like there's so much I want to talk about Kanye, and I'm so excited to be able to talk about it, but I feel like you got like a little glimpse of what I what I love about Kanye, and like what I know about Kanye, but I'll be honest, uh, I, I basically kanye this whole set, like I said earlier. So I'm done talking, I'm done talking, however, in true Kanye fashion, I've not left you with just me. There's more to this. I produced this shit, I told you guys. <laughs> so if you would, in the back, please cue up the final performance of my Kanye set. Thank you. Oh, see, y'all just think y'all gonna do a Kanye scene missing and not hear from me? Rob Hayes, the expert? Um, first of all, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I feel like I'm accepting an award from overseas, um, but I don't know what David Perdue has said about the song Power, but I can tell you that he's wrong. I can tell you that he probably didn't talk about the references to the sword Dionysus. I could probably tell you that he didn't talk about how the video was directed by Marco Brambilla that directed Demolition Man. The man made Wesley Snipes blonde. So you know that he can do some ill stuff with cameras and whatnot. Um, he probably didn't talk about all the art references that Kanye tweeted leading up to this video, and they're all in the video. See, people talk about Kanye's tweets, but they don't even know there used to be a method to the madness. But what I think David should be talking about is how this event, how Power by Kanye West, is the beginning of the end of Justin Bieber. This is the first hip-hop song Justin Bieber ever jumped on, and it opened a whole world of music to Justin Bieber that he didn't quite understand and changed his whole lifestyle, and then he just became the new Tupac. But that all started with the Power Remix, which Justin Bieber just sang one part of, and it ruined his entire life almost. He was, he was off the rails. Hip-hop is a powerful thing, and everybody can't handle hip-hop stardom. No one man should have all that power. If you want to hear more of my theories on Kanye West, you should listen to my Kanye West podcast called The Book of Yay. Also, if you rush home tonight, I'll be on Comedy Central. Thank you so much, Seen Missing. Y'all been such a wonderful show throughout time, and I'm so glad y'all are playing this video tonight. Guys, one more time. I like my boy Rob Hayes, biggest Kanye stand out. Uh, check out the podcast, Boogie Yay. I just, like I said, this is my Never Let Me Down performance. Uh, I had a spoke more artist. I came in here as a young Kanye West, and then my man Rob closed it out like Jay-Z. Uh, <laughs> he 
did that thing. Anyway, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm surviving. I was drinking earlier. Now I'm 